Hey mathematicians, we are excited for you to join us today for math. Make sure you have your pencil and paper ready, and if you don't have a pencil or paper, you know that you can always use your magic finger to help you solve math problems. Right, mathematicians, we are getting ready to count. Remember, by the end of kindergarten, you are going to have to be able to start at any number and count to 100. Not just at one, but you have to choose any number to count to 100. And today, we're going to start with the number six, at the number 65. Are you ready? Here we go. 65, 60, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Today's number writing lesson will consist of filling in the missing numbers. We might have to go backwards and we may have to go forwards when we're trying to figure out our number. So when we start here, what number comes after four? Can you write a five? Down, around, but on a half. There you go. So let's count. Four, five, six, seven, eight. What number comes after eight? Yes, good job, the number nine. Okay, let's go to our next row. Here we're gonna start with the number 12. And remember, teens start with a one. Numbers in the teens, they start with a one. So let's count 12, 13, 15. Uh-oh, we missed one. Go back, 12, 13. What's one more than 13? 14, good job. 15, and then what number's missing here? What number comes after the number 15? 16, good job. Okay, mathematicians. Now this one's missing a number in front, so let's count backwards. 19, 18, 17. Yes, so a one and a seven. And then we'll have to go back to forward, 17, 18, 19. And what comes after the number 19? 20. How do we write a 20? A two and a zero. Good job. All right, so we are going to compare and contrast 2D shapes. Now, compare and contrast means that we're gonna tell how they're alike or how they're different. So first, let's make sure we know what all of these 2D shapes are called. First, we have a square. Then we have a circle, a rectangle, a triangle, another square, and an oval. So, Miss Scott, can you compare or tell me something that's the same with these two shapes? The same, I see the square have sides and the triangle has sides. Very good. Can you tell me something that's different or contrast them? Well, the triangle has three corners or vertices. The square has one, two, three, four vertices or corners. Okay. Let's get two more shapes. We have our oval and a circle. Can you compare or tell me something that's the same about these two shapes? Well, both have are a large curve. They have no sides and no vertices or corners. Great. Now, what if I take my oval and I replace it with a rectangle? Can you contrast or tell me something that's different about them? Well, the rectangle has four sides and the circle has no sides. Great. Can you tell me something that's the same about them? Hmm. Both are 2D shapes. Great job. Thank you for helping me practice shapes. You're welcome. Today for our math journal, we have another problem, word problem. 
Read it with me. How many numbers come between two and seven? Write the numbers. So to solve this, I'm going to write all of the numbers from two to seven in a straight line, like a number line. So write it with me on your pencil and paper or use your magic finger. First we have two. What comes after two? That's right, three. So we have two, three, four. And then what comes after four? Five. And then we have the number six. And the last number is the number seven. So the problem says, how many numbers come between? So does that include two and seven? No. It's between the numbers. So let's count to see how many numbers come between two and seven. One, two, three, four. So four numbers come between two and seven. And those numbers are three, four, five, and six. Great job, boys and girls. Today we're going to work on a number bond, but first of all, we need to count how many beads we have to make our number bond. Let's read the sentence to begin with. Color some beads yellow and the rest black. Make a number bond to match. So if we're going to make a number bond, we're going to put our whole part here, whole here, and then we're going to have a part and a part. So let's count how many beads we need to make a number bond. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many beads are there? There are ten. So we need to figure out two numbers that we can add together to make the number ten. Color some beads yellow. Okay, I do not have a yellow marker today, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the marker half, and we're just going to color. Color some beads yellow and the rest black. So first of all, I'm going to put a Y for yellow. Let's just make a couple some Ys in our beads. Okay, so there are some, and we're going to pretend those are yellow. How many do we color? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to write the number seven here, and the rest will be black. So I'm just going to color those in. One, two, three. So how many do I have colored in? One, two, three. So I'm going to write the number three here. Oh, check out our number bond, guys. I think we did it. So how many did we have all together? What was our number bond? Ten. We counted the beads. And then it said some yellow. So we write Y's on some of the beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go back and check my answer. Yes, that is seven. And the rest were black. That's what our sentence says. But let's count how many we colored in all together. How many are filled in? One, two, three. That's right. So we now know that 7 and 3 make 10. Or we could say 3 and 7 make the number 10. Good job. So let's look at the bottom of our paper. And this time we want you to do this at home. Draw it on your paper if you have paper and send it to us so we can see what you did with your number bond. We're going to get started together. Color some beads purple and the rest green. Make a number bond to match. So the first thing we need to do is let's count how many beads we have to make the number bond. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So your whole part is ten. And then you're going to have, a, well, your whole, sorry, your whole is the number ten. And then you're going to have a part and a part. Okay, see if you can do a different one than we did. We can't wait to see your answers. Have a great day.